which is a uh, uh, was possible cancer. Uh, really, really docile and well-educated black man. Uh, I could tell by talking to him. Ex ex military, of course. Army. <laughs> they really pick on the army, man. I'll tell you what. Anyways, um, but uh, that's about how that visit went. And uh, um, I was going to talk about Filipino life, but I think that's going to be my next one. I really am not sure if I'm over. If I'm over, then I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm over. Anyways, folks, I'm a little bit over, so we're, we're this is going to be a two part. It's going to be oncology and Filipino life which has is not related to each other uh it's just the the subjects i want to i want to talk about i guess i i i guess the last one i'll i'll, I'll go you know on ecology appointment or whatever and and maybe the second part two will be of uh, filipino life get ready Now, the views and the opinions expressed on this, this video are my views and my views only, and it's not reflect, reflected as a set in stone opinion. It's uh, opinions vary, assumptions never work. But in this case, this is this is my opinion by my observation of what of, of how Filipinos live. Okay, to the old American standard, they get off the plane, they walk in there, and they see a Nipa hut or um, you know the average the average Filipino the way they live. They go. Oh my God, they're so poor. You know what, though, man? They got something that you that's they got something that you and I as an American don't have. They have happiness and they're content. There's a guy. Uh, someone said, "Oh, he's living so poor." You know, no, he's. You know, he's not paying rent. He owns his land. He's not paying rent. He's got a big old farm. He's grown rice, squash, tomato. I mean, big, big plots of it. And I'm, I'm talking about uh, uh, Julio and Monterado in uh, uh, Terrence's videos. You know, I'm taking an example from that because that reminds me. Because when I went up to the hill, my father-in-law, he's a, uh, I call him my papa, but he's a. Uh, He's a big man on the hill, you know. He he helps people. He's not like, oh well, you know, give me fifty peso. He's like, here, don't worry about it. Later, later we talk about it, you know, kind of thing. Um, because he's a big farmer and he's uh, he has a uh, a fish farm also, and uh, he's doing good. He's got a son-in-law that's going to build him a new house. Me. Which, uh, it's a promise I made my wife, you know, this, this is a, this is investing in her dream. Folks, if you want a good woman, listen to her dreams, man, and you'll see where she's going. A lot of women are dreaming of a mansion, a car, a pool. They're not thinking about kids either because they're selfish. But they're, that's what they're looking, that's their dream. And it's like, well, her dream was to build her mother and father a decent house to live in. It doesn't it didn't have to be big, it didn't have to be fancy, it just had to be simple and functional. And that, that's, that, that, that gets back to my point on uh, F Filipino living. You, mo you move, you uh, move, you move an American in there that's from uh, that's got the big house and the Mercedes Benz and the BMW and uh, uh, 
shit, even the Maserati, they'll die. They'll just die. They'll have a heart attack and die. You know, give them real food, oh, they'll die. You know, but the average Filipino, they're content with that. Which, when you're content, that means less stress, that means less worries. I mean, what do you got to worry about if, you, if your land's paid for or given to you because it's inherited from the, the, the family barangay? Uh, you build your house there, you farm the land, get your own food, uh, make enough to sell food. You know, if there's lechon on the table once a week or once a month, and there's uh, good vegetables and coconuts, bananas, so forth, a Filipino man is happy. Well, you know, every once in a while, if, if it's a man, it's uh, it's not normal that the the females drink in the Philippines. It's more the guys, us, you know. We're the drinkers. But, you know, little tubak, which is uh, coconut coconut wine. A um, little bit of tanguay, which is kind of like a mild whiskey kind of deal. And a Filipino man's happy. He goes out, works his 12 to 18 hours a day on the farm. Comes home, he's got, you know, every time he comes home, he's got, got a meal on the table and he's good to go. Um, let me let me check the time here. I might be going to number three. Pretty close, I think. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go, man. Here's here's that baby cat, the small one. Yeah, he's kind of grown attached to me. He's a foot cat. But you know, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'll get these uploaded so y'all can see them. I uh, hope BT's doing good. BT kind of shot me a message. He's out doing his own thing. Which, that's what vloggers do. Uh, me, I decided to stay home today and kind of soak in some good weather. It's, it's kind of like on a perfect side for Tennessee. The last two days we've been in the upper 70s. So... I mean, it felt cold, man. It co felt cold next to 100 degrees. We were going 100 plus, folks. Whew. I can't convert that into Celsius, so sorry about y'all that aren't American that are watching this, but we'll get better. We'll get better. I think it's more, uh, what, 100 is somewhere around 40 to 50 Celsius. I'm not sure. I have to look. Um, but besides that, you know, like, share, subscribe. Get along with your neighbor. Love your neighbor. And everything else falls in place, man. So uh, stay cool, stay classy, stay yourself, stay real. And above all, stay faithful, man. Love y'all. And I'm, I'm out.